In 2004, the Republic of Poland joined the EU and was recognized as one of the world's most promising democracies. Fast forward 15 years though, and Poland is controlled by PIS, a right-wing nationalist political party that has won the presidency, the majority in parliament, and used its newfound power to seize Polish courts, silence the Polish media, and openly rebel against the EU. So how did a country make such a dramatic U-turn in such a short space of time? Well, a less discussed mechanism has been through the exploitation of the native football supporters in Poland. Football in the region has never had a fan-friendly culture. Professor Rafał Kwederuk, a political scientist from the University of Warsaw, remarked to Open Democracy that, unlike in Germany where football was brought to the masses after the Industrial Revolution, such a thing in a much less developed Poland was impossible. This, combined with the chaotic state of the country after the Second World War, meant that football never developed the deep social roots that facilitated its rise in other parts of Europe and South America. Now, this doesn't mean that football is unpopular in Poland, as the sport eventually became widespread across the country in the mid-20th century. However, the lack of a deep public connection to football carried over to the structure of the Ekstraklasse, the Polish Football League. Unlike the association model in Germany, where fans play a central role, every club in the Ekstraklasse acts as a joint stock company, in which private investors hold all the leverage over a particular club. This has led to repeated cases of corruption, bankruptcy, and even the use of public government funds for football clubs. The entire sport of football in Poland ultimately became a money-making exercise driven by market interests. This model obviously outraged the fans, and a protest culture amongst supporters developed. Throughout the 1990s, football stadiums in Poland were pocked by hooliganism. But these protests weren't benign, and have allowed right-wing nationalists in Poland to take an ideological grip on the same fans. Essentially, the extra class has symbolized what various rural Polish citizens resented about their country. It was a corrupt and elitist institution simply trying to earn money at the expense of the working people of Poland. This, in combination with more complex political issues, made football stadiums a prime place for protest, and also turned them into an incubating hub for extremism. As many football supporters in Poland came from working class or rural backgrounds, Right-wing nationalists were able to use the distaste for the corporate structure of domestic football as a political tool to expand right-wing support. A tipping point was reached before the 2012 Euros. As Poland were co-hosting the tournament, it was imperative that the issue of hooliganism was resolved before the competition started. Consequently, the Ekstraklasse and the Polish Football Association raised ticket prices across all football stadiums in the country. The supporting theory was rooted in economics. Poland's social structure has always been composed of two vastly different classes, a poorer, rural lower class and a wealthy upper class. However, there was a strong belief in Poland that the number of middle and upper middle class citizens would increase in the 21st century due to an improving economy. Many also believed that the 2012 euros would contribute to this expansion of the middle class. Increasing ticket prices, it was reasoned, would change the demographics inside the stadiums, enable a higher number of upper or middle class people to attend football stadiums at the expense of the more traditional rural supporters. But that never truly occurred as anticipated. As such, raising ticket prices only strengthened the resolve of the nationalists. They were able to tighten their grip on football supporters and use the initiatives to demonstrate how football institutions in Poland didn't care about the lower class, adding apparent credibility to their divisive and xenophobic rhetoric and further driving their political agenda. Now, as PIS and the nationalists have continued to gain power in Poland, football supporters remain the principal losers. Once exploited by money-hungry companies, they are now being used as pawns in a political movement that threatens Poland's stability.